Global News Sports. Well, it seems like the Los Angeles Lakers are currently up right now, three to two in the playoff series against the Golden State Warriors. You know, Stephon Curry presents a challenge for uh, the Lakers. And I believe that um, when you look at the two teams matchup, you know, they're in-state rivals. Uh, you know, they had they run in with LeBron when he played for, you know, the Cavaliers and the finals. And it was like back and forth now for him to be with the Lakers um, and playing with um, Anthony Davis, so on and so forth. Um, the Lakers are just too powerful. I um, do not believe that they will lose to Golden State, even though Golden State is a technical uh, three point shooting um, assist, um, you know, around the back forward pass type team. I don't believe that they will um, succeed in defeating the Lakers. Um, the Lakers currently are posed in position to win the NBA Finals. And the reason why is because their big three um, is, for one, usually when you have a big three, um, it's usually the scoring ability, the awareness of the court, um, knowing how to um, uh, play as a team amongst in the chemistry, the team chemistry is there. And when you have these big three, okay, then you pretty much are set to at least make it to the playoffs, deep into the playoffs. But the difference from the average big three and the Lakers big three is they also have power. So they're big, they're skillful, they have good chemistry, even though the even though there's been a little back and forth or debating um, you know, against Davis and James, you know, at the end of the day they all come to win a national championship. Now, if LeBron wins this uh championship this year, he will be considered in the conversation as they all in the big three of the greatest player that ever played in recent um, history, you know, compared to Le uh, Jordan, Michael Jordan, uh, Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. You usually hear those three and it's usually been Michael Jordan, LeBron James. I mean, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant and then LeBron James. This is going to put LeBron James as the second uh, best team uh, in the NBA. LeBron's is going to be considered the second. Now, if he do not retire and if he stay with the Lakers and they keep at it and they go again to the finals again, it's a good chance that he could be because they already uh, there's some people that said that is saying that he is better than uh, Jordan in a way of how many times he'd been to the national championship. Even though he didn't win them, he went more times. And they're also comparing the fact that he is stronger. He is all over the court in a sense of, you know, dominating in every aspect. You know, if LeBron could play power forward, if he wanted to, um, you know, he could play shooting guard. You know, he can dribble. He can bring the ball up, you know, while Jordan was, you know, a shooting guard and, you know, he kept his position. He was, you know, good at what he did when he went to the finals. He won every one, you know, and if he wouldn't had the tragic incident that happened in his family, people posed to say that he would have won also those years. So, you know. They're saying Jordan could have been an eight-time championship, uh, an eight-time champion. Now, LeBron is, 
I believe, this is what I think. I think LeBron is going for the best player. Like, he wants to end the conversation of, you know, hey, Jordan's the best player. He wants to be recognized as the best player in the NBA. And I believe that's what his mind is set on. That's what he's going for. Now, if he stay healthy and he does not get injured or anything like that, he pretty much, uh, you know, probably got another five, five to six years left, you know, um, and maybe out of them five or six years, he may go three more times and win. So Le- LeBron goal is to, you know, he already tasted what the championship, the championship is like. So he only sees that as an elite player, that's what he sees. And every time he wants his team players to see what he's seeing, Hey, let's go for the gusto. Let's, Get up here and let's get it done. I know what needs to happen. You know, let me show y'all what we need to do. And sometimes if y'all not doing it, I'm going to do it for you. So the main thing is he wants to be the best player in NBA. Now, uh, with that being said, he's close to that and he possibly can be that. He just got to get more championships and at least be par with Jordan. He has to at least be par with Michael Jordan before he can be considered as the best NBA player that ever played. You know, he would have to get at least six championships. Now, Kobe was trying to do that. It's unfortunate that happened to him after he retired, but he was on his way with five championships. He would have had if Shaquille would have never left and they would have stayed together he probably would have had about eight rings, Kobe, because he won. um, He won two of them without Shaq. And, you know, just think if they would have stayed, you know, they could have easily got, I think he would have had seven rings. So LeBron, watch out when you start getting close to Jordan and his ring count, you know, it might get hard for you, but um, definitely you need to get at least six in order to be considered the best player in the NBA without debate, right? Because right now it's debatable. Well, he don't have this many rings, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I do believe that the NBA, uh, that the Lakers will win uh, the championship this year. And uh, another ring will be added to LeBron's collection. Um, they're going to be Golden State when they get back to L.A. It, it, it's not going to be easy, of course. Golden State is a good team. But, you know, on to the next round pretty soon. So uh, there you have it. You know, Global News Sports. Um, see you all next time.